We're just hours away from day three for the trial of a West Michigan mother accused of killing her 15 year old son with special needs. Shanda Vander Ark is facing first degree felony charges of murder and child abuse. Yesterday she took the stand in her own trial. 13 on your side's Trevier Gonzalez joins us live from the newsroom with a recap. Good morning, Trevier. Hey, good morning, guys. For more than three hours, Vander Ark took questions and tried to make a point that she never intended to harm her son, Timothy Ferguson. But the prosecution really worked to break through that argument and continued to point out that her alleged abuse of actions just didn't make sense. Vanderark's attorney tried to present her client as a hardworking and educated mother who was doing her best as a parent, but the chief prosecutor continually asked questions on how she would treat Timothy, especially in comparison to her other children. Factors that were brought up included the security cameras that were all throughout the house and locks on the refrigerator and pantry so that Timothy couldn't sneak food in despite the fact that he was severely malnourished. Here's what the chief attorney had to say. He was extremely sneaky. Did it ever occur to you that this is not the way to deal with a person who's been on a hunger strike? Locking up their food, locking up their access to food, punishing them when they, when they try to take food? Did, did, did that ever occur to you with your, your brilliant legal mind, as it was, that that wasn't a good idea? I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. Vanderart continued to give responses like that. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. Early on, she did tell the jury that she doesn't remember everything due to a condition known as dissociation, but the prosecution made a point to the judge that that is not, that she is not a medical expert. So the prosecution then ended their line of questioning by stating that to Vanderart, Timothy Ferguson wasn't even a human being in her eyes anymore. She responded by saying that that is absolutely not true. My understanding is that Vanderart has not yet been excused from the stand. That's because the jury will have questions for the defendant. It's it's then very possible that the jury will then head to deliberations shortly after. Live in the newsroom, Trevor Gonzalez, 13 on your side. All right, Trevier, thank you. The judge ordered a recess yesterday after Vander Ark appeared to vomit during her testimony after the prosecution showed her a photo of her son, Timothy, taken hours before he died. You can watch today's hearing live on 13 on your side.